Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Marguerite. Sunday, February 24th. So I'm on a healing journey and I'm inviting YouTubers to come along with me for some Reiki. Today is on reducing anxiety. Whenever there's change, there's anxiety and there's big changes going on right now for all our different multi-dimensional <laughs> aspects. So I'm just going to go right into it right now and then I want to share a really amazing, maybe you might call it a miracle, story of Reiki that happened to me. Okay. So before I start the transmission, I just want to center ourselves, take a nice deep breath in, and then you can sigh through your mouth. In your mind, you can say yes. Doesn't matter when you're watching this. It's a matter of the energy of penetration, not in the dimension of time. And I call forth my spiritual entourage. If you wish, you can call forth yours for extra support. Any beings of light and love that would like to assist us today? And just ease into whatever you're sitting or lying upon. As I begin the transmission now. Spirit of the wind is very strong outside right now. So I'm going to invite you to take deep breaths and long, slow exhales through the nose. And just continue over and over, breathing from the belly up to the heart higher if it's comfortable, long, slow breath out, think of your breath like the tide of the ocean, the ebb and flow. in and out. In comfortably and deeply. Out long and slow.
sense warmth radiating from my hands and drawing that warmth the energy to parts of your body that need extra attention or perhaps for soothing your emotions Soothing your spirit. Balancing your brain. One of my guides is a native shaman and he's come forth to ask you to use your powerful imagination if you're not lying down to imagine that you're lying upon the earth you can almost see this as going into an inner sanctuary within you it's a safe place. And it's a perfect temperature for you, perfect time of day. And he's sweeping you with a feather from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. It's more of a wing. He's sweeping down your aura. Now he's working on you. All density begins to move, fade, drift away from your body. As you relax more and more. Peace washes over you. And he asks you to turn over onto your stomach in your mind. And as he works on your back, again using your powerful imagination, 
You're tuning your heartbeat into Gaia's heartbeat. Slow, steady rhythm. Coming back to center. Now in your mind's eye, he asks you to sit up. And he's working down your spine, the energy grounding you, connecting you, brightening you. And he bows in front of you and he takes his leave. And if you wish, you can bring your hands to your heart. If you like, you can take another deep breath with me for the ending this, the big sigh. <sighs> As I end the transmission, I think, my guides, I think whoever energetically is come before me in this video at any time in any space-time dimension that you help call forth my shaman guide to be with us. This is, I think, the first time he's come through for a, a full working on us <laughs> so I'm in deep gratitude for that so I want to share an extraordinary thing that happened with Reiki so you know I haven't been healing myself with Reiki daily for a long time that's why I started this doing it on YouTube so I would get into the habit of it. If I have to show up, then I have to do it. <laughs> and I play it back and receive the energy again. So this was many years ago and something that not many people have had in their life and even the nurses and the doctors when I was in the hospital well, the nurses especially had never heard of this. So 
you know how you can get kidney stones? Well, I had stone under my saliva duct. Okay, so you know those two lines under your tongue? And it got so swollen, like if I didn't get to the hospital on time, they would have had to have done a tracheotomy on me because it was swelling up my passage to breathe. So um, they had to, like I couldn't eat or drink, right? So I was on intravenous and uh, medication to help with the like penicillin, right? Help bring the swelling down. And I don't know, maybe I was in there for like three days. And so I got to go home and the doctor said, now just, you know, with your finger, massage it to help it pop out. And if it's not out, now this is going back a while. So I, I think it was like a couple weeks, right? Then I would have to go for surgery. So I'm massaging it, and then I thought, well, why don't I give myself some Reiki? And it was, uh, again, it was so long ago. So anyways, I'm giving myself Reiki. I don't know if it, it had been just like the first time or a couple days, but then giving myself Reiki. Um, I didn't give it in the hospital because I was totally out of it. <laughs> and then I got this intuitive hit in my mind that said put gold on the area so I got a gold ring and I was putting it on the area and it was like a surgery it popped right out the stone it, and it looked like a little grape seed pit but it was amazing so there was like no no cut it was like it was like I don't know, gold surgery. <laughs> but I didn't have to go to the hospital or anything. So is that not fantastic? You know, maybe you can explain why. I, I'm sure there's a scientific reason why gold would work as like a, a surgery. <laughs> but... Anyways, so that's one of my Miracle Reiki stories. So I'm so glad you joined in today. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And any like, shares, comments to exchange energy would be wonderful. I, did, I have set up a um, $15 donation button on my Patreon page. It is a giving receiving. It's not necessary, but if you are finding benefit in these days and would like to give back, I will gratefully receive. And you can hit the notification bell as I plan to do some live streams again so you'll know when I go live. So, peace and big love. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now.